Well, we're filing two lawsuits today because Microsoft does not tolerate fraud against our customers. Uh, we're committed to protecting the businesses that advertise on our Bing and MSN networks. Uh, we feel that we're uniquely positioned to help address the problem of click fraud that this represents, given our role in the industry and our deep expertise in addressing safety on the internet. The first lawsuit names defendants, and the second one does not. The first one names Red Orbit, and Red Orbit is a website which aggregates science news. And in that particular case, we are alleging that Red Orbit knowingly engaged in a type of fraud which we called click laundering. Now, the second case is a case which does not name any particular defendant. And we call those type of cases John Doe cases. And in those cases, we're using the John Doe process and the discovery process behind that in order to further our investigation. Microsoft our traffic quality team uh, constantly monitors uh, the amount of traffic received uh, by Bing and, and through our publisher network. In a case where we detect uh, anomalies into our traffic, which is a case here for Red Orbit, uh, we detected a significant spike in traffic for that specific publisher, which led us to open an investigation. We have a traffic quality team that monitors these issues and ensures that our customers only get billed when they're getting value for the advertisements they're buying. And we're taking these kinds of legal actions to protect against this kind of click fraud. Click laundering is hard to detect because it requires a significant amount of uh, technical expertise and uh, monetary investments. It is hard to detect because it basically mimics human behavior. Based on our investigation, I think now we have proof that what was thought to be uh, impossible type of fraud, in fact, is possible. And with these cases, we show that it's actually going on. In the normal pay-per-click advertising model, an advertiser registers their ads with AdCenter. We also have publishers and website owners that can register their site with AdCenter so that they can host ads provided through AdCenter from the advertiser. Once a publisher site is approved, when a user is on their site and they click on an advertisement and that click is deemed valid or high quality, the publisher earns revenue from that and the advertiser is charged. So how click laundering cheats the system is the website owner that has the approved property with AdCenter that is legitimately serving ads sets up a additional website that is not approved and normally would not be authorized for displaying our advertisements. People that click on the ads on the unapproved site, they are laundered through the approved website, in which case they earn revenue from that. We're really focused on what we as an industry can do together to ensure the integrity of the online marketplace. As Bing has become more successful and as, as it has become recognized as being more innovative, it is also important that we are innovative in the way we are today, taking steps to ensure that our advertisers have the rock-solid assurance that when they advertise on Bing, they get what they pay for.